I wasn't just in an addiction, I was in a battle. I was spiraling out of control and I just didn't care. I was a hardcore addict, lonely, depressed, miserable. Lost, disillusioned, and scared. My life was fear, my life was broken, my life was awful. We live in a city where brokenness meets us at every turn, where hopelessness is etched in the faces of those who are experiencing more pain than most of us will ever know. Fear, hunger, addiction, depression, abuse, the list goes on and on. My father was a biker, and when I turned eight years old, he, him and my uncle started to sexually abuse me. And that went on for a few years along with the beatings. Yeah, like in my family, just my husband worked. Sometimes we say, okay, uh, we pay the bill, or uh, we have to buy food. I've been battling with uh, drug addiction, drug and alcohol addiction for over 20 years. I, I was able to hold a job just a little bit, but I couldn't keep it. I was on the street, sleeping in alleyways, sleeping behind dumpsters. I was in a very abusive, domestic violence relationship, marriage. I saw nothing for a future. I saw no way out. I shot about $80 worth of heroin into my arm, and it should have killed me, but it didn't. Somewhere deep inside all this pain is the feeling that there must be something more. That was kind of when I started to think maybe there was something out there. I always knew that I was made for more than that. And I knew there had to be much more of an alternative than just giving up. Since 1952, Phoenix Rescue Mission has been a place where people in desperate situations like these have been able to discover something else, something different, something more. More than simply meeting immediate needs, we are committed to providing long-term solutions and transformed lives. Every day, hurting people come in for shelter and a meal, but what they find is so much more. I came in and there was this gentleman sitting in the welcome center uh, by the name of Merrill. I was an atheist, but this man's wearing a baseball cap that says, pray on it, big letters. And I thought, oh no, you know, what did I get myself into? And I, over the next few days, I ended up talking with this man and he talked to me about uh, the program that they had. I ended up finding God, you know, um, in those 60 days. So when I first got here, as all clients, I was required to go through the RAP program, which stands for Rescue Assess in Place. It's a seven day trial assessment period. After the seven days, you transition into the transformation program, and that's when you really start to heal. My initial plan was just somewhere to crash for a few days, get some food in my stomach, get some sleep, get some energy, and then go back to what I was so accustomed to. But what I received is far more than what I can ever anticipate. Every day through our Transforming Life Center for Men and our Changing Life Center for Women and Children, we see people embrace the abundant life in Christ as we train, equip, coach, and provide whatever is needed to give them more than they could have possibly imagined when they first walked through our doors. Now, since being here um, at the Changing Lives Center, um, my whole career track has taken a huge shift. I've been certified in uh, Serve Safe, where we um, prepare food for the clients and staff, um, over 100 people per day. Right now, I'm acquiring all the skills to build myself back up to having the welder position and it's a reward to be there and, and be blessed with such an awesome job. A year and a half ago I uh, completed the program, um, did the transformation program and then today I am a Hope Coach driver and I go to different locations all around the valley, go look, you know, and find the homeless and see if we can, you know, offer them services, give them hygiene and water to break the ice. And if we can, we will help them to get a birth certificate, uh, ID, social security cards. Just try to lift the spirits, because there's a lot of people out there that, that don't know that there's actual help. The first time when I came here, I felt blessed. We surprised how much, how, what is the amount of food. Fill it up the car, you know, the shopping car. And today, I volunteer here at the food bank and I love to do it. When I see the eyes, you know, for the people when they came saying and say thank you, they feel 
surprised, blessed, thankful. Everything is like I felt before. The Hope for Hunger Food Bank and the Hope Coach are just two of the services we offer to those in need in our community. For those in our residential transformations programs, we provide professional counseling, comprehensive recovery programs, case management services, GED certification, and high school diploma courses. We offer practical help through financial literacy and resume writing classes, as well as vocational training through our Mission Possible Cafe. And because we believe that without divine intervention, no one can be fully transformed, spiritual recovery and teaching are at the heart of everything we do. We are so blessed at the Phoenix Rescue Mission that we're able to see and experience God's transforming of lives on a daily basis. Hundreds of people each year come to be coached up, to be all that they can be. And I just wanna thank you on behalf of the Phoenix Rescue Mission for being a part of what we do. But I also wanna ask you to continue supporting us. We could not do this without you. We're all partners in this. Won't you consider your continued support of the Phoenix Rescue Mission. With your help, those in our community with the deepest needs can experience so much more of the abundant life that Christ has for them. More joy. More purpose. More love. More thankful. More life. More hope.